Okay, so let's make a simple and quick tutorial about how to make a collisions to blocks in M Creator. So here is my base that will be made out of three collisions. So to the top, the bottom side, the neck and the cap of it. And it's already imported, so let's make a block. Here I go, don't need any rotation for that. Waterlocked, yes, can be waterlocked, cut out, connected size. This is back to height of the texture. And uh, this parameter should be uh, I'm going to display the fluid texture when submerged in the glass block. Uh, I don't know what this is about, so anyway. I'm gonna put some texture bounding boxes. So here is what we're gonna have to do. So these are the uh, one the collisions in Minecraft are made of of two points. The one point that's from bottom left corner to bottom right corner. That's how the collisions actually work. And it's pretty basic to do if you know basic maps and you know your model well enough to actually do it. So let's go. We're gonna need three collisions so let's add another three. And from X, Y, my X and Z coordinates we're gonna be the same. So Let's go here. That is negative. That's negative. That's positive. So this is east. That's west. Anyway, so for that we need to move the collisions. So it's one, two, three, four. So it's basically four minus four by minus four. So let's go back here. And type up here 4 and 4, and from here uh, let's remove 4, so it's 12. If I recall correctly, yeah, that should be fine. Not sure if it's gonna be exactly correct because the last time I was doing that, it wasn't really placed correctly in it, so. Yeah, that's the problem sometimes. Anyway, let's go back to our model. You can do it in Minecraft, but in Blackbench it's way easier because you can basically make another <laughs> a measuring polygon that you don't really need that much, but it's helpful if you want to do it correctly. Scale, correct scale, so it will be 11 up. So, in that case, this needs to be changed to 11. Okay, now I'm gonna just switch back to 1 voxel and go up. So, we are starting from 11, but in that case, we have a bit of different now. So the first one, collision for the bottom side is already done. That's basically the whole collision. Because that that was that's actually exactly the same as it was in the previous way of making the collisions, but in this this way, this new way allows you to have multiple. But the actually logic is the same. You have one point uh, you have point 0 and point 16 which is measured by uh, pixels so you have 1 to 16 if you want to move it a bit closer to the center then you're moving the point 0 which is the minimal one to plus and the, ma the one that is on the other side which is 16 you subtract by the same amount 
so if you want to have like the like it's on the model that is basically in the center so we have to like count four pixels up here and add it to minimal add four to minimal because it's like moving up here because it's like four from both directions and to actually bring it back because it will be like from four pixels away which is here we want to like that so to fix that you have to remove you have to subtract four from the maximum which is 60. This will move it back to the and book this from the corner back so it will gonna have the center of the collision box. Okay so now let's calculate how far is how far the wall is from one to another. And this is because I actually put uh, X and Z equally because they are like in the middle but if you have something that is stretched then you are moving only one if you want if not then if you have something that is equal in the center or something like that then you have to move equally both X and Z and if you have like something that is basically stretched like that for example then you are moving just Z or the, the corresponding side that is not in the corner to match that to match the corner and again subtracting from the maximum <coughs> that's basically how you are doing that okay so now calculate that which is which is 6. So this is gonna be 6. Uh, this will going to be 6. This will be 11 because we have that's our anchor point. With y-axis if you have like some other stuff stacked then your y-axis max y-axis will max y-axis coordinates will be your anchor point for uh, for to start the minimal coordinates from the another bounding box of the same axis so <coughs> okay so this one will be 10 because we are removing 6 this one we don't really need for now 6 okay so let's see now how tall is the neck of it just 3 And because this is actually because this is actually the highest, that's actually the edge of the block, the the, end, the top side of the block, exactly at the top of it. That's this base is exactly 16 by uh, 16 pixels of height, so it's representing the full height of a block. So okay, this is five. So we're gonna have to remove two because it's the top. So from that we're gonna do fourteen. And here is we're gonna add fourteen and leave sixteen because that's sixteen is the top max, the highest point of the block the top of the block so you can also subtract it if you want but that's a bit more tricky basically is that if you want to make a something with the hole then you just making two boxes two collision boxes that are actually going through the you have like one big box and then you take the coordinates of the hole you want which is basically the middle of the box I mean the uh, yeah middle of the box. So in that case, <coughs> subtraction gonna look like this. If you want to make a hole or something like that, then you will take the coordinates of the whole thing, and you will take the coordinates of how high and dimension coordinates and dimensions of the uh, hole you want, which is for 
this example, if we could want to have a hole through this, we're gonna have to take exact uh, x and is x, y, and z of that to actually go through it, and it will gonna extrude that, so there will be collision around it, but not in the place that we are actually subtracting the stuff, which is basically just cutting off half from the model. So okay, the last one is up here, so let's go back, let's go back, if someone wants to see the subtraction tutorial then I will do one, but for now I will just focus on the normal one, this is exactly on that one, so let's go back here and we have to put 5 because uh, it's only one pixel away from it and remove 5 from here, which is 9. No, oh, it's 11. My bad. My bad. Okay, that is basically that's basically the bonding boxes are set set up right now. So yeah, so this is the bottom. This is the neck of it and that's the top. It would be really useful if we could have like a way to actually put a name tag so that you know what this is for. But we can so yeah let's go further. I'm gonna switch the name. <coughs> that for yeah that can be fine. I'm gonna give them a gravity. Right, we can't. Hmm. Okay, if we can't, then we can't. We're gonna want to have these. The table, we don't want any of the table. Let's drop. We don't need anything up here. Neither here, neither here. Not here, we don't need this to spawn. Save it. And we basically have our vase ready. The only thing that it might be a bit problematic is that the coordinates might not be exactly accurate as I showed you because I don't really, I'm not really sure the right, how they are actually placed correctly when the actual thing should start or not because the last time when I was doing that I did exactly the same thing and it was a bit inside and the other part was a bit higher than a bit lower than it's supposed to be even though they were at the correct coordinates so you're gonna have to like look it tweak it check it if it's correctly and then do some small tweaks because, but other than that that's basically it about well, that so let's see if it's gonna work it we're gonna build like another half an hour so give me a minute I'm gonna simply just wait uh, until it's low there's gonna load
Ah, ok. Let's go huh. here. Let's look for the base. Huh. It's quite a big. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, as you can see, we have two factory aligned bonding boxes. Oh yeah, by the way. Uh, since we actually put it to before, it's the bonding boxes starts up here, not over here. That's why we don't have the bonding boxes up appeared uh, above. Okay. But for most, but for other stuff, it's working. So. As you can see, I can stand on the side. If I go to the left, I'm going on top. If I break the. If I put it up here, if I put the top bottom, it works. If I unfold the uh, neck, it works too. If I unfold the top, it also works. Keep in mind that only it works if you're looking at the first block, if your model is higher than one block. Then if you wanna look for the collisions, like up here, it's not gonna detect them. Because for some odd reasons. But it still has the collisions at the top, right here. But it basically <coughs> appears because it hits the collision of the... It actually is in the side of the... in the range of collision of a full block. But yeah, that's basically it about the basic collision bounding boxes. If you need something uh, like subtracting uh, boxes or something, then ask about in the comments and I will see what I can do. But yeah, that's basically it. If you enjoyed it. I hope it was simply and easy to follow. So, yeah. Yeah.